先生您贵姓我叫王丽我叫罗兰王先生是北京人吗我是上海人罗兰小姐呢我是法国人 Now, let's read the words carefully one by one. Try your best to imitate my pronunciation, okay? 先生先生您您贵姓贵姓贵姓 
Now, let's learn how to use them. First, three pronouns. 我 你, 您, 我, it's me, Betty. 你 means you. We have another word for you, it's 您. You may be unsure when to use 你 or 您. You might ask, hey Becky, when should I use 你 and when should I use 您? Okay, look. The upper part of this character is 你. 你. The lower part of this character means heart. So, 您 is 你 in my heart. Or, I'm talking to you with all of my heart. So, use 您 when you meet someone who is older than you or who is highly respected. Again, 我 你, 您 Now, here are some very, very useful expressions. Suppose you are going to meet a Chinese person for the first time. How do you greet her? Do you ask for her given name first? You probably do not want to do that. Our culture is very different from the Western culture. Chinese people place more emphasis on the family name than on the given name. So we often ask 您贵姓 first. 您贵姓 What's your family name? 姓 Family name 贵 means honorable. Chinese often use it to show respect to others. In a word, 您贵姓 is a very polite way to ask others their family names. Now, I ask you, 您贵姓 您贵姓 you are supposed to say 免贵姓 免贵 here literally means there is no need to add honorable form 贵 before the surname. In Chinese culture, we use 贵 to show respect, but we use 免贵 to show humbleness. Take me for example. My family name is Yin. So if you ask me 您贵姓, I'd say 免贵姓Yin. Now I ask you 您贵姓? You should answer 免贵姓 plus your family name. Here is another useful expression. 免贵姓 is a modest way to tell others your family name. But generally, we can also say 我姓 我姓Yin My family name is Yin Okay, look at this short dialogue. 您贵姓? 我姓Yin Another word you should know is 叫 To be called or be named 我叫Becky My name is Becky 我姓Yin,我叫Becky Ok, let's use the sentence in the dialogue 您贵姓? 免贵姓Yin 我叫 Becky. If we are in a not so formal situation, we can say 我姓严,我叫 Becky. Okay, it's your turn to answer my question. 
您贵姓？